Roly poly. Girl, listen. You done laid that big ass slab of beef across that man's cutting board and had him run all types of chainsaws and hacksaws up your stomach and up your ass crack. Okay? Trying to shave off 25,000 pounds of whale blubber, bitch. Now you finna have all these Gabourey Sidibe built bitches running down to the nearest chop shop looking for a quick fix, girl. And I promise you, not all of them big bitches is gonna make it up off of them operating tables, boo. Let's talk about it. Because this is a big deal. Let's go. Welcome back. <laughs> What's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not already, go ahead and like, comment, because I love reading y'all comments, the good, the bad, and the ugly, baby. I promise. And subscribe, and go ahead and turn on my post notifications, baby, so you can be alerted when I upload a new video, girl. Listen. Rolly. I'm trying to go light on you because I secretly feel like Roly Poly is doing this whole BBL experience. You know what I'm saying? For two reasons. I think number one, Roly is doing it because Zeus told her, look, baby, we going to need you to do something for this show. We going to need you to get a, a, a attention grabber going on. I think Roly is doing this for clickbait. I think Roly is doing this for clickbait. And the second reason I think Roly is doing this is because she's been seeing how the internet has been responding to Stunner Girl, you know, praising her for her looks and things like that. And she feels like she's getting overlooked because of her look, which very, very well might be the case. No shade. Um, so I think Roly is doing this out of vanity and out of desperation and also out of clout for clout, um, which are no good reasons to be doing this. No good reasons to be going under the knife. For anybody, somebody a plus size, somebody a regular size, somebody a small, whatever the case is, boo, your big ass shouldn't be doing this, okay? It ain't that serious. But I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, Rolly, because I understand. Hmm. Yes, I understand. I know a lot of y'all might be sitting there asking, Big Mouth, what the you talking about? Like, why is your, you big yourself? How are you qualified to speak to her about this issue? Well, baby, little do y'all know, Big Mouth used to be 330 pounds, Okay? And Big Mouth did two a days. Big Mouth did three a days. Big Mouth ran three, four, five miles a day with a 25 pound weight vest on. Big Mouth scaled back his eating habits and Big Mouth lost 140 pounds in four and a half months. Right here. So yeah, I gained a little bit of it back during quarantine, bitch, because I was sitting down and I got back into the cakes and the pies and things of that nature. But yes, I'm very qualified to speak on this issue, baby, because I've been down that road and I'm currently going back down this road. And Rolly, flat out, bottom line, here's the deal, big baby. Ain't no cheat cuts with this shit. Ain't no cheat codes, ain't no shortcuts, ain't no none of that, baby. This is not a G2 uh, 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 Grand Theft Auto game, bitch, Okay. Ain't no up X over, bitch. There's no cheat codes to this part of your life, baby. And see, the thing about it is, a lot of y'all girls run off and get this surgery and things like that, especially somebody as big as Roly. You should have never played around with that, baby. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. But a lot of you girls run and y'all get these, these, these fads, these, these, uh, uh, follow the leader ass, quick fly by night operations, and y'all be right back in the same situations a few months later. Y'all literally spent all of this money getting chopped and cut and sliced and diced up on somebody's goddamn operating table only to sit down for two months while you recover and all you doing while you recovering because you didn't do this the right way. You didn't change your eating habits. You didn't get a, a meal plan. You didn't go see a dietitian. So over the two months of you sitting and recovering, all you're going to be doing is eating the same food that got you in that situation. And by the time you're done with the recovery process, it's going to be time for another surgery. Because the weight then came back. Now y'all can sit here and blame it on, oh, that's the fluid. That's the fluid. That's the fluid. Since you've been done with the operation three, four, five months ago, how much fluid you got left, boo? That's a cop out. And for somebody roly-poly size, let me tell y'all something about skin and elasticity of it. 
when you are as big as Roly Poly is, and I don't know how big Roly is exactly, but I know for a fact she's over 300 pounds. There's no way Roly Poly is anywhere under 300 pounds, sis. I've seen a lot of big people. I used to be a really, really big person, and now I'm a smaller big person. So I could gauge the somebody's weight by just how they look. I looked it up online. Roly Poly's about five foot six. Five foot six over 300 pounds leaves you with a BMI of over 45. Roly. Your skin was already stretched to the limit, boo-boo. Your skin was already stretched out trying to fit around that big-ass body that you had. Now, instead of you losing weight gradually over time, drinking water because water improves the elasticity in skin and helps it snap back. Trust me, I used to drink two to three gallons of the shit a day. I know what water poisoning is, baby, and I didn't care. Don't get in my comments with that. But I definitely used to drink my water because I knew by me being as big as I was, the uh, chances of my skin being loose when I lost weight were high. And I didn't want that. Okay? No loose skin. No stretch marks. Boom. So, trust me when I tell you, Roly, you having your skin stretched that far already, and then instead of you letting your body gradually shrink back down and drinking water and allowing the elasticity in your skin to build itself up so your body can shrink you just cut cut the skin off now Rolly says she had a bbl and she's going back in a couple of months to get a, a, a tummy tuck and to get her arms done which they're going to be cutting the skin and fat off of her arms mind you nowhere in Rolly's plan did she say i'm gonna lose weight I'm going to get a personal trainer. I'm going to start, you know, eating healthy, eating right. It's like putting putting makeup on a trash bag. It's still trash, poo. It's still trash, poo. No shame. I'm not calling Roly trash, but what I'm saying is this. If your body is, is already out of shape, there is nothing that a knife can do for you, sis. There is nothing that a doctor with a knife can do for you. You have to go rebuild your body's natural chemistry, sis. Your body has broken down. Your skin has broken down to the point where it's stretching like an old-ass rubber band. You got stretch marks and loose shit hanging off everywhere. And your solution is to go to a doctor and have him cut all that excess skin off. So the skin that you have left that's already been stretched to the limit because it was just stretched around that big ass body of yours, now has to be re-stretched around a new body? Rolly, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are any of y'all doing? There's no cheat code to this shit. You gotta go do exercise. You gotta go eat right. You have to. Okay? You cannot keep putting your body through that kind of trauma, through that kind of stress, stretching and tugging and pulling and nipped and stapling and buckling and slicing and dying. You are a human being, bitch. You are not a fucking Chevy Silverado, bitch. You can't keep going to the mechanics, bitch. Okay? You see what happened to a car with too many miles on it, bitch. The mechanic gonna eventually tell you, sis, either you gonna have to rebuild the engine or throw this motherfucker away because we can't do nothing else with this car. And that's what it's going to be for you, Roly. You are a big body Benz, baby. You is not Masika, all them other girls, uh, uh, Alexis Sky, uh, Sky from Black Ink, Tommy from Yo Show. You ain't none of them girls that done went and laid up under the knife, boo. You are a big ass bitch and you need to operate as such. Your body chemistry is different from them little girls. Your skin... Elasticity is different, and I keep bringing up that because for bigger people, one of the biggest things about it is losing weight is we scared that our skin is going to sag. That is one of the biggest fears of a big person losing weight. But the, the remedy to that is not to go before your skin has a chance to tighten up and chop it off. Roly, what is you talking about you going back for a tummy tuck and to get your arms done? Bitch, you ain't lost no weight. And what fucking doctor? See, I don't know if y'all watch my 600 pound life, but I do. So, I know that in order for you to get skin just cut off, you got to lose the weight first. You got to, it got to just be skin. Otherwise, they cutting into all types of fat tissue and things like that that your body actually need. They really, they, they cutting into stuff that you actually going to need, boo. So, 
How are you? How how is Roly Poly able to do these surgeries that these other big people who are her size have to lose hundreds of pounds to get? That leads me to believe that your doctor not doing what he's supposed to do. Because real talk, I know you can have a um a BBL if your BMI is between forty to forty five, but it's a danger zone, and I'm willing to bet Roly's BMI is over forty five. Roly, you're a big girl. And for you to get on live talking about you a healthy big girl, what does that look like? What does that look like, sis? Because the flat out bottom line truth of the shit is this. If you are eating below at 1,500 calories a day or below 1,500 calories a day, your body is going to lose weight no matter what. Okay. This is a numbers game. That's why I was able to lose that much weight so quickly because I was an accounting major, baby. I love numbers. So I literally just put logic to it. That's it. It's a numbers game. If you eat this many calories, you will lose this amount of weight. Your body already burns calories all day long just by breathing and existing. So if you go throughout your regular day, you're going to burn about 1,500 calories just off GP. Which is why if you eat 1,500 calories or less, you will either maintain weight or lose weight. That's it. So you cannot lie to us saying, oh, I'm a healthy big girl. If you was a healthy big girl, you wouldn't be a big girl. You a big girl because your big ass keeps stopping at McDonald's on the way home every day. You a big girl because you got two deep freezers, Rolly. Remember you said that you got two deep freezers? You a big girl because your big ass over there sucking up all them food steps that you ain't supposed to be getting, even though your ass getting $25,000, $50,000 checks from Zeus. Y'all. That's why you a big bitch. You a big girl because your ass sitting in that motherfucking house, bitch, sitting in that chair in your living room all motherfucking day with snacks in your lap. You a big girl because every motherfucking day you wake up, all you want to do is smoke weed and stuff your face, bitch, and you don't want to do nothing else. That's why you a big girl. None of that is healthy. None of what you do in your life, Roly, is healthy. We ain't never seen you pick up a piece of fruit, run a lap, none of that shit, bitch. Don't shit on me, bitch, and tell me that it's chocolate sauce, hoe. Don't piss on me and tell me it's raining. AKA, don't play in my motherfucking face, because I'm grown. Roly, I love you. I really do. Your personality is very sweet. Um, I love your music, and I really wish you would dig into your music instead of this fucking reality TV bullshit. Roly, get in your music bag. Take whatever Zeus check they didn't gave you. Get in the studio with it. Get you some visuals for these songs that you got out already. Re-release these bitches. Go get them mixed and mastered. Re-release them with some visuals, bitch. And get your numbers up on YouTube. And get your uh, streams up. Focus on your music, Roly. Because this reality TV shit ain't for you. That's why you ain't. That's why everybody passing you, boo. You sitting here thinking that going under this knife is about to help you get ahead in this, this reality TV game, and it's not. It's going to get you some views, yeah, because we want to see how this big bitch got chopped up, how much fat they cut off. That's what's going to get you the views. But once we see it, what else? Okay, we saw the surgery. Next. You trying to clickbait us into watching your show with this surgery. Because you know you're not interesting enough to hold our views without anything else. Roly, you're not this reality TV thing, boo, it's not your it's not your boat. It's not your boat. That's why you losing. Because you're trying to run a race that you ain't even supposed to be in. You're supposed to be over here in the rap game, bodying these other rap bitches, because you are actually good at this. Focus on your talents and what you got going on and stop worrying about what the fuck Stunner Girl got going on. Stop getting stop getting jealous every time somebody call her cute or say she good on TV or they love watching her on TV. Stop putting yourself in competition with Krishan and them and they TV show. You feel like you're getting passed up because everybody else getting their show and you ain't got chores yet. Roly, maybe God is trying to tell you something, bitch. Maybe Suge was talking, maybe Suge was singing to you. I know this ain't funny, y'all, but I, I really don't I really don't want to be funny today. I want to be serious with my sister. Roly Poly, it's dangerous what you're doing. It's dangerous what you're doing to your body. 
and the fact that you have a big following of plus size women who are about to go try to do this exact same surgery because they saw your big ass do it before they never thought before a big girl of that size could get this kind of surgery. Now they saw you do it. Now everybody think it's possible and they not going to make it. At least one of them are going to die. At least one of them are going to go to cardiac, cardiac arrest on their goddamn table. At least one of them are going to get infected post-operation because one of the side effects of being too big and getting a BBL is not being able to heal properly, which increases the, uh, the risk of infection. Another side effect is fluid buildup within your blood vessels. It can cause your blood vessels to burst, bitch, and you can die of a hemorrhage. And bleed out. These are things that can happen to you plus size women. When y'all go uh, morbidly obese and try to lay on a surgery table instead of going to the nearest Planet Fitness. I hope I reached somebody today. I hope I reached you, Rody. But that's all I got, baby. I will see y'all in the next video. And yeah, y'all go ahead and donate to my cash app. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Um, keep helping me out. I'm going to keep helping y'all out as much as I can. Uh, with my advice, I try. So I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later, baby. Bye! <laughs>